Oh, 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 yes, you are back again. Come in, come in. Sit down, relax. Yes, grab your cup of tea and relax for the next whatever time I decide to finish uh, on this movie that we're doing today. Welcome back to Chris at Dad's RC Hangar. No, it's not Friends Lab and I'm definitely not friend. Oh, no. But if you want to, go and see her channel. Um, I watch it. it. She's mad. She's great. And she's all about electronics and it's kind of cool if you're into that sort of thing. But yes, this is Chris at Dad's RC Hangar. It's just my t-shirt was in the wash. It's all right, don't worry about this sort of stuff. So what we do today, well, I did promise you, or kind of promise you, that I'd do some more of the Central UK um, Pro Bolsa Max Thrust. But I just didn't get time last weekend. It all went a bit crazy. Um, so I've been doing it again today. The weather today, I was hoping to get out and fly something. Trouble is today, you've got 25 mile an hour gusts and all my bolsa will just, just fly away with that sort of thing. And it's pointless. I just wouldn't enjoy the flight. Well, I probably would, I'd have a good laugh, but but hey but in england it is a bank holiday monday where our beloved queen will be buried um and that will last a, a few hours which i want to watch obviously but after that i can do what i want to do and myself and dr david owens or dr owens should i say and we said that sort of later on in the afternoon on the monday we'd go to the field as it is about five mile an hour wind so let's see what we can do for the monday whether it's shown next friday which i really should do i shouldn't try and do the video in one day because it's mayhem but um yeah, so let's not stop chatting. Welcome, and let's get on with the build. Hello. Yeah, it's we're at a different view with a camera that's moving about. Sorry about that. Are you a bit seasick? I'm ever so sorry. <laughs> what are you looking at? Yes, we're looking at the fuselage um, of my little uh, Century UK Pro Bolsa Trainer Max Thrust stuff. Yes, I didn't get a chance to do much the other day, unfortunately. But hey, there you go. What did I do? I did put the servos in here. The three servos. They're the SU-300 um, Putabas that was in the boomerang. But we won't go mentioning the boomerang. Um, what I've got to do now, it does say... This is quite a crazy, and I've actually moved to my batteries now. But it says to put the batteries under in here. So um, if you look under there, there's a little, little hole. If you can see that, there you go. I'm going to stick your battery so it slides in there, but um, I don't. I don't think I'm going to do that. So when it, the actual um, the actual uh, what am I talking about, Chris? The actual bottle comes out quite far to here, so I need to kind of like maybe cut something out that I can re-put back in. So I'll put some standoffs or something, um, so I can get the battery in and out in some foam, or maybe I need to do the whole. The whole thing but i want to try and keep this as light as possible because we're using such a, a light engine the, the la40 um uh the uh, sorry the uh, yeah the 40 la sorry um she is like a diddy little engine but she's uh she's gonna go some i know she is um i thought i had a spark plug not a spark plug, yeah a glow plug um but i've got to order them but uh yeah if you follow the instagram you see the mess <laughs> the hangers got in. I've got stuff all over the place and I forget where I put it. And that's the pain in the ass bit. You know, someone said to me, you know, if you've got a uh if you've got a clean hanger then you're not doing enough work. But trouble is with um with a dirty hanger, I could never find anything. So yeah. I've got some boxes. Go and have a look. Uh they're not on at the moment because I'll probably do it on the weekend on the Sunday because I've got to dismantle stuff and everything over over there. Anyway, enough of that, enough of that. Um, right, so we need to put the engineer. Now, I thought this would be a nice, put a dad's RC hangers together. No. <laughs> the engine's got to go in here, silly ass. <laughs> so I put the, the I put the, uh, the the stand on there for the, the engine, the engine mount. And if I tally up the hose, tally up the, tally up hose. If I tally up the holes, um, we're coming to about back here. So I want to sort of come back here cut along there um the air you know that's going to sit in there like so so i'll probably cut quite close to here i mean if you'd actually look at the uh, booklet um if i can put it around the right way you can see here they're, they're drawing a dotted line and a bit of a frankenstein thing going on peel back the uh, the covering cut around it um and then obviously i presume they make it good afterwards i don't know but i've already put this in anyway because i just wanted to see how far i need to cut back so if i don't need to cut back all the way i won't i'll leave a bit of uh leave a bit of bonnet so i'm just going to mask this up basically just get some of my frog tape uh measured out so i've obviously got equal distance in fact that's probably about right but it's not equal distance i don't want it going on the slant all righty there you go so these are my little 
marking out of the cutout area that I'm going to do. I know in the picture they've got like nice curved corners. Yes, I could probably do that um, by, by drilling a hole in here first and then cutting into that. I might still do that. Um, but yeah, it's surprising how to measure across this because it's all curved. It's coming in at an angle and that's not exactly straight there. It's really, really hard, but I think I've got it right. Um, is uh, it'll only be the proof in the pudding, as they say, by um, giving it a cut. Oh, there we go. Look. <laughs> in fact, you can't see that properly. There you go. Now, I did have to cut down a side there um, to, to fit this engine in. As you can see, it's got like the little sticky outy bit um from where you, where you set the set the limits um it just about fits in there nice and snug um the thrust angle is already made for you which is great and the front of the plate on the prop plate should be in line with the edge which it just is within a within a millimeter or two so i'm happy with that i think there that's going to be it now don't worry about the sides and the back and all that sort of thing i'll make all that look pretty afterwards with a bit more tape but there you go nice huh um if i get the uh the exhaust is somewhere around here so i'll screw all this down i mean it was a bit of messing about and and there she is there's the exhaust so it looks nice really nice i'm happy with that and i can tie all this up with some tape uh, with some of the um, ferrari tape that i've got right so this is goes to kind of there i suppose she sits in there she does poke her ass out the back there um to, yeah around about there and then we get with pipes and all that sort of lovely stuff now the thing that's gonna sort of that's sort of let's get the purple screwdriver let's get the purple screwdriver make sure you're all in shot anyone still getting shot right okay things i've got to put a battery under here um and probably maybe my transmitter a receiver should i say transmitter cool that'd be fun wouldn't it uh my receiver so hmm now, obviously, I want to put a lot, you know, some sponge around here so it keeps it in place and, and lovely stuff. In fact, I have got, I think there's another piece of wood that actually goes over here to try and hold it in place, which is really cool. Um, but I'll put some sponge and everything else that I've got that good old dad has told me about. Um, yes, spongy. Yes, it's not a cookie. No, it's sponge. Yes, it's some great sponge you can get that stops vibration and it needs to be put everywhere, basically. Um, and here's my battery. Yes, this is the one that I normally use in uh, in RC models in my glow stuff. And as you can see, it, it doesn't, it won't go through that gap. I, then I don't really want to start cutting the firewall any bigger than uh, than it needs to be uh, down at the mouth there. So the idea is this will fit underneath here. Um, I need to. This is this is the trouble really. Is sort of like I need everything together. Um, and the wings on to get the C of G because this I don't want to put this here and then say oh, oh yeah it's too it's too nose heavy and then stick a load of weight on the back because that's just adding weight to the plane so I really kind of want to leave all this out at the moment put the tank in put all the pipe work in because that could be taken out afterwards it's not a biggie screw the uh, engine to to the um, to, to the front um, and put all the uh, all the rods in and bits and pieces yeah uh, i do need to probably i did want to get all this done well i've kind of got it done and then i can probably put the tail section on uh, but i did want to sort of start doing it and then you know breaking stuff and smashing stuff and all that sort of lovely stuff um yeah a lot of erms at the moment all righty so i'm going to come back to the engine and the fitment of the engine uh, because <laughs> i need to make new holes in the engine mount and I can't find my little pen. So um, I've ordered a couple of really thin marker pens that I can dab in the hole to get the right position for the uh, engine. This is why I need to clean up the hanger and put those lovely cabinets in here so I can fire everything because I just lose everything. And the basic, the bags that I have everywhere <laughs> are the bags of everything. So yeah, mm, okay. Right, so let's get out our control horn. We're gonna stick uh, we can stick the control horn and then we're gonna i'm gonna sort of like glue these i suppose like i did the other one i will glue them off screen because it just takes a lot of my energy <laughs> mind you saying that i did buy some uh, hinges the other day pinned hinges i might even have grab some in a minute so anyway let's just get this done and um, just so i show you how easy this is and then obviously i can do the uh the um 
the, what were, God, it's one of them days, what's going on this weekend? The uh, rudder, there you go. <laughs> oh dear. Right, so then I've got my RTL lovely box of screws and um, I think an M212 would probably be thick enough for this. So, yes, yeah, so that come out a little bit. I mean, you probably can't see too much what's going on. But we're going to whack this in. They are pre-drilled holes, so it's pretty cool of call them to do that because you know some ARTFs or whatever you like to call them um, you, you, you drill your own holes I, I never really get straight <laughs> I, I kind of drill through and, and then when I'm screwing onto this the, the back um, it's like huh okay what happened there then but uh, yeah these um, yeah these I think it's the two mil I want isn't it the two mil where are the two mil so I've got where is you? Yes, I got the purple, but the purple is a Phillips. Where did I put you? Ooh, ooh. <laughs> oh man, where have I put that screwdriver? It's probably on the floor. I've got a problem with this hanger. It's, it's I think it's sinking. <laughs> Everything rolls everywhere. So ah, oh, that two mil. That's the two mil. It was there all the time. Oh, why don't you go, you know, you should be sort of like the, uh, uh, what do they call it? Where's it? It's behind you. Yes, I bet you were screaming that, wasn't it? So on a flat surface, I will slowly start to screw. <laughs> now I screw a little bit and then what I do, I put my finger on the other side just so I feel the end coming through. I mean, this is just, you know, just, you know, just a bit of chit chat really because I'm sure everybody and anybody who's looking at this has done this before but if you haven't well there you go but mind you a lot of the time you don't get these pre-drilled now you're saying to me Chris wow that's that's a whole lot of screw just to get right so I'm just 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 so it pops the surface and then pull back um, you're saying that's a lot of screw but not really there you go pop surface it's just it's got like a one it's an Allen uh, uh, key or key or allen driver they've got allen heads i call them allen heads anyway there's probably people call them hex heads and whatever his it's just it's just tougher right so as you can see or you might not be able to see it depends if it gets in focus is that that's all popped through so that's that gives me a kind of basis of holding that on there quite gently and then and then screw it and then i can feel it screwing into the plastic which is good so you're not making any rando holes and then, like I did with the uh, with the wings, which are we you know, um, which are done. Um, I just uh, I got my little grinding disc on my Dremel. I just flattened them down, and I will put a splodge of hot glue just to just to make sure it doesn't catch anything or scratch anything. And I think that's just enough. So that's that, and I can do that on the horizontal or the rudder as well, um, to get that done and dusted. Um, but what I want to try and do is is if I pull this off I'm gonna to have to pull this off because they are not glued both ends so both sides they're not glued there you go there's that you can see that that rod in there that holds it in there so um, obviously once again um, a master builder <laughs> um, Cliff Harvey he did say put some put some petroleum jelly or something on there to stop it you know going in the middle but I haven't got any let me just hold it right there let me grab my little um, doodars that I grabbed earlier on. Now what are you saying doodars Chris? Yes, the nylon hinges. Oh, I'm yes, nylon hinges. I picked some of these up and I thought, oh, as you do when you're in the bottle shop. Um, also I've just rang him to see if he's got any OSA3 uh, nitro uh, glow plugs and he hasn't so he's ordered them in though so look at these bad boys. Uh, see if I can if I can get that in focus there you go how beautiful is that closed pins and I was thinking to myself well I wonder if that would fit in there I have got a little kit that allows you to make a thicker hole a bigger hole somewhere like, look, look, stab it in there now it's over here look. it's over here there you go hinge slotter kit Yes, yeah, so I could use my hinge slotter that does all lovely stuff and does, yeah, really mega stuff. Sorry, I'm looking at the back of it. Yeah, the back of it showing you what it does. It's pretty, pretty cool actually. 
um, and have these on there instead because obviously I can super glue these down and it's going to give me a nice a nice soft edge because you know unfortunately because I haven't got petroleum jelly when you do glue these in when you do glue them they stiffen up not mega amounts but they stiffen up so I'm wondering if I but then again what do I stick these in with maybe I'll save them for another plane Leave them in the. I'll tell you what. Leave it. Leave it in the comments for me. We're going to just do this as standard. Leave in the comments with me, all you seasoned builders, and tell me what do you stick the, the pin hinges in with? Is it CA, or do you stick a bit of five or thirty minute epoxy? Let us know. Yeah, um, that'd be really kind of you. I am using my new bottle of glue, which is in the fridge. I always stick it in the fridge. I've got a mini beer fridge. <laughs> no beer in there, just lots of glue. Um, which is the Zap C8. And the reason I like this is because there's a cap, it comes off. It's not a cap like one of these that slide onto the end. Because what you find is that when you screw it back on again, you, and you've got a bit of C8 to there, it, it glues. So oh, I like my fingers. <laughs> it still stays wet. And my fingers are now glued together. <laughs> um, yeah, get, get this Zap C8. Um, because it just sits on top of that there's no contact with it so then it's not gonna um, it won't stick because you know otherwise you've got to try and crunch it off and all sorts of things um, and then I use these little things you get uh, I'm not sure what they're called but they're called glue tips or some random name but basically you, you can cut them to where you want you stick them over the can like this or the bottle should I say like so and that and then I just normally cut them around there and then that gives you a nice little bleed line for CA if you've never seen these before and there we go all hinged see they have just uh, just filed them down a bit with the Dremel and uh, yeah there you go that's all stuck obviously give it a good tug misses just to make sure that it's not going to fall off in flight and the same again with the horizontal I've just filed them down I did notice that it doesn't yeah I thought that wasn't straight on there I'm not sure but it's, it's pre-drilled holes and there you go all lovely and stuck it so it's a great thing it really is that uh, these little uh, the zap glue it really has helped me and obviously these little bit i'm trying to fit, I'm, i'll find the packet here hang on just in case that no one knows what they're because you get a load of them you see and they are called on here they're just called um micro e i butters <laughs> oh, i don't know there's some the i butters it's all about me butt but anyway if you look on there they're, they're great they really are you just cut them and take them off throw them away and you know it's brilliant and as you can see i've become a bit of a seasoned gluer oh yes look my very first time i glued i had glue all coming all over the place and that's because i didn't find those little things but look at that not one speck of glue just fingerprints everywhere but don't worry about that give it a little polish later wow awesome so now we need to cut the ends off uh the, the not the ends off should i say just the material and the same here as well we put the put it all in so we cut the material off in the middle so it's wood against wood and then we can epoxy those um, in a second so but uh, yeah let's see if we've got some time for that well yes we have no more time i try to keep it short because i don't want to bore people too much yes i probably could have split it down a bit today uh, rather than waffling on screwing in the hinges and stuff but sometimes i like to talk about things because obviously that's why I make YouTube movies for people that are newbie like me that don't know how to do stuff or not sure how to do stuff. So you can always skip through that bits and pieces. And thanks to a couple of, I know, I think Dudders was, and I can't remember, I apologise who else said it now. I think it was Stephen said about in the wings to change it, change the, uh, change the servos uh, to the HS225BB 225, Mighty Mini high-tech servos yes there you go it's probably out of, there you go so I've got two of them to put into the wings um, so obviously we can show you the wings uh, built next time um, I'll have all the stuff that I need um, to finish the build um, by next next time anyway whether it be next week or whether I'll get time to put another episode up during the week I don't know <laughs> we'll have to wait and see um, I'm not promising anything anymore uh, because I come up to um, I come up to a problem and it's like mm, how am I going to do this and I spend way too much time over engineering yes I do I am glutton for punishment when I should just shove it all in there and hope for the best but uh, you know I enjoy it and I hope you enjoy watching me tinkering about as well. Um, and, you know, if you do want to get one of these planes, then you'll be able to see what you can do and what you can't do and what you shouldn't do and etc, etc, etc. 
So anyway, if you can get out and fly this weekend, um, I really hope you have a great time. Um, it is um, um, a solemn weekend in the UK, as we know, but that doesn't stop us from having that Friday feeling. That Friday feeling should keep you afloat and keep you going, especially if you're watching Daz RC Hangar while you're standing in all them long, long queues to see the Queen. Yeah, and then, you know, at least that keeps you going, keep the warmth inside you, and all that's all that lovely stuff. So anyway, if you do get out, be safe, keep safe, but most of all, have fun. RC is fun, and it's an enjoyable hobby, and I love it. I really do. Listen, thanks for popping by and spending some time with me. <laughs> Put your teeth back in, Chris. See you later now. Have a good weekend. ta -da. Ha <laughs> ha!